Whether you're considering divorce, transitioning through divorce, or trying to figure out what's next after the ink is dried on all of the papers, you may still be struggling with the difficult conversations that come up along the way. Difficult conversations at work, with your children, with their other parent, with any professionals that you're working with. And today I'm going to share with you five things that can help you show up as your best self. Number one is honor the emotions that you are feeling. So the difficult conversation is coming up and you're feeling aggravated, angry, frustrated. Honor those emotions, listen to those emotions, lean into those emotions, and then decide to change them and decide to go into that difficult conversation in a more positive, optimistic, open way. So honoring your emotions is very important. Number two, I suggest exercise. Prior to a very difficult conversation situation, some exercise, some thinking while you're walking or biking or on your Peloton, it helps. Physical exercise helps your whole mind, body, soul, and it can help you to show up in a better way. Number three is create a time limit. So if you're going into a difficult conversation and you know that it's uh, scheduled for one hour, then you can let everyone know that in one hour, the conversation has to end because you have another scheduled appointment to attend. Or if it's a 15 minute conversation, same thing. And during and throughout that time, and during and while the conversation is happening, especially if it's a longer one, let's say with a, a lawyer and a, your attorney, your mediator, a professional person that the conversation can get really challenging sometimes, take breaks. You're allowed to say, I need a five minute break. Stand up, walk out of the room, go outside, go to the restroom, walk around the block, give yourself five minutes. And again, it'll shift your mindset create some positive energy inside your body and self and bring you back to the table in a better state. Number four, prior to the conversation, decide who you are going to be during that conversation. Are you going to be upset, emotional, crazy person? Are you going to be bothered by the same old things that have always been bothering you? Or are you going to decide to show up and maybe when you're feeling bothered, when you're feeling highly emotional, when you're really ticked off, decide to be a little quieter or just be quiet. And you're going to decide to show up more positive, again, more open, listen more than you speak, really hear what people are saying and try to look at things from another person's perspective. And this is not easy. It's not easy uh, going into a negotiation, going into your boss's office, knowing that you deserve a raise, going into your attorney's office, knowing that you want this, 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 and this, and your partner is saying they want this, 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 and this. It's not easy, but the alternative is the way that you've always been doing it. And that's not working. So it's time to make a change. Go into the conversation, open to hearing and listening to what other people are saying. And you can say, I'm going to take that information home with me and give it some consideration. And I will let you know by this time. So rather than being reactive during the conversation, be quiet and think about how to create something better. And finally is breath work and smiling. Prior to going into the difficult conversation, pull your rear view mirror down in your car or go into the bathroom, look in the mirror and smile and think about all of what you're grateful for and really feel that. I'm grateful for my life. 
I'm grateful for my children. I'm grateful for my career. I'm grateful for the walks that I'm able to take every day. I'm grateful for the friends that I have in my life, for the loving, supporting family that I have in my life, whatever it is that you're grateful for. And then breathe, breathe four in, hold for four, four out, hold for four. That's box breathing. And doing that will calm your nervous system and will make you feel more neutral, more peaceful, more relaxed. And do this throughout the meeting. And you don't have to make a lot of noise when you're doing this. Quietly, four in, hold for four, four out, hold for four. It can make a big difference, especially when you feel, you know, the butterflies in your stomach or, you know, the sweat dripping down the back of your neck or your sweaty palms or just your heart beating faster and you feel whatever anxieties you're feeling inside of you, breathing really helps. So honor the emotions that you're feeling. One, two, exercise. Three, decide who you're going to be during the difficult conversation, but make that decision prior to. Four, create a time limit, set boundaries for yourself. And five, breathe, smile, and be grateful. If you think divorce is the best option for you and your family right now, or if you know that divorce is the best option for you and your family right now, you may be feeling overwhelmed, sad. I mean, this is a difficult time. I've created a free mini course that might help. I will put the link to this free mini course in the bio below, and I hope it helps you. I want you to know that you are worthy, you are loved, and you are perfect just the way that you are. Thanks so much for your time and attention today, and I will see you in the next video.